Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Slunger Cat Outdoors, back with you again this morning. It's Video Viewer Friday time where we're taking your comments and your questions, turn them into videos to give you the most up-to-date information as we can. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. I want to say thank you for joining us. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. We do live shows every Tuesday called Tackle Talk Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, today's video viewer Friday, I've been getting a lot of questions on, you know, what shad look like on the sonar, uh, how to find shad, and just questions all in general about shad and about how to find them and catch them and uh, what they look like on the screen on the sonar. So we're out here on Rocky Fork Lake today coming out of North Shore and there is tons of shad loaded up in this uh, little backwater marina whatever you want to call it so as we're going out through here I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what I look for and what others look for when looking for big gizzard shad all right so as we ease out through here you can kind of see these white specks on the side imaging and then you can kind of see what they look like and remember in some of the Tackle Talk Tuesday shows, I told you they almost look like little arches. Those are the bigger gizzard shad that are down through there. And you notice they're not in one big school or anything. They're just more so scattered out into a big area. Now, real quick, I just wanted to show you guys the difference in <clears throat> the ones we was marking the bigger shad. And then you see this cloud, cloudy look through here. And you don't see a whole lot on the, on the 2D screen. These are smaller, uh, smaller shad, either thread fins or gizzards probably mixed in and there's a couple you know bigger shad mixed in with those as well and it looks like some fish actual fish marked in there so just a little bit difference between the two so there you go there's a look at the shad we was trying to catch you can see this you know got a bigger one mixed in but the most of them are those smaller ones and we're not really going to be we kept a few of those smaller ones but we're really after those bigger ones like that but that's a look at uh, what they look like on the screen all right, so there you go. That's a that's a little look at you know what they look like on the screen, and uh, you know you've seen the size of them. Now, whenever I was showing you how they you know they didn't really show up as arches, they was more of like a cloud on the side imaging. That's those smaller ones, okay? Now the the arches that are mixed in will be those bigger ones, and you could kind of see how they're spread out. So that gives you guys an idea of what to look for next time you guys are out on the water. I hope this helps. We'll be doing a whole series of uh, sonar videos on our video viewer Fridays. It's going to be kind of lengthy, you know, drawn out. So I want to make sure that I touch on a lot of information and a lot of different ways to, uh, you know, do your settings and what to look for while out on the water. So stay tuned. I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget, forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. We'll catch you next time on Video Viewer Friday. Thanks for watching.